Hello friends, welcome back to Snippet Coder and we are back with another video. In this video, we will learn about ChatGPT, which is an open AI tool. And we will check, will this tool help us to speed up our Flutter development or not? So before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. So in this video, we are going to write a Flutter code with the help of the chat GPT. And for using that, we have to open the website that is chat.openai.com. And you have to register over there. I am already registered here. That's why I'm getting this screen. And here we have to write whatever the question we have. We are doing the similar thing with the Stack Overflow also and also with that Google also. But here we will get the instantly result by putting our queries we will get the result whatever we want so here we will write our query like write flutter code with feedback form we have to create one feedback form here that includes four fields name email phone and message and here we have to press enter here so it will start writing the code here for us you can see here it is writing the code here so here it's generated a code for us let's see the code so here you can see we have that form with that feedback form then we have this global key then we have these four fields name email phone and message and here it is writing the scaffold visit with our app bar form in the body with that text form field and all so here one thing i have noticed it is not generating with the null safety that also we can do by putting the command so let's see is it working for the null safety or not so for that we have to write here make we will write here change the code to enable null safety and here we will write change the code to enable null safety and we will press the enter here so here it is regenerating the code with that null safety feature also so here we have the updated code. So let's do one thing. Let's copy this code and let's copy paste in our Flutter application. And let's see is this code is working or not. And we have to click here copy code. And now we will go to our Flutter application. Here we will open our main.dot file. And we will replace this code. So here we are getting some error. So whatever the null safety feature it's added is not correct. You can see here. Now we have to remove this code. Here also we have to do the changes and here also we have to put the exclamatory sign. That means the null safety feature it is not handling properly. And here also it is using the old code for that flutter because this raise button is already deprecated in the flutter new version. So we have to change it with our text button. Here also we will put exclamatory sign and we will save here. So now let's run the application to see this code is working or not. And from here we will run our application. So here we have our application with the code generated from the chat GPT. So now if we have, we have click on the submit button to see the validation of working or not. So here the validation are also working here. We have this name field, then we have email, then we have phone number. So let's put the invalid email here and let's click on the save submit. And here you can see it is not giving any validation on the valid email or not. Let's go to the chat GPT and let's add a new validation over there for this one also. And let's see is, is it adding or not. So here we will write add email validation and we will press the enter here. So it will regenerate the code for us. It will also tell us that to add a new email validation, we have to use this regular expression all. It will also explain us the code also which it is generating. So it seems like it is getting hang here is not working properly you can see here sometimes we are also getting some error also while generating the code by saying that server is down and something like that so you can see here we are getting a network error so let's regenerate that command again and let's see will this work or not so you can see here we are getting here too many requests please slow down that means it is giving us the error that we are putting so many requests here so we have to slow down our requests so let's do again again we are getting here so that means it is not working properly here let's wait for a few seconds and let's we'll try again let's do again here again we are getting the same so i think i have to reload the page again and let's see 
So now again, we I have to restart everything. I have to write here, write Flutter code with feedback form that includes four fields, name, email, phone, and message. And here I will write add email validation. And here I will press the enter here. And let's see, will this work or not? So you will notice here something like the code is not consistent here. In the previous code, the code is different. And here we are getting a different code here. So whatever the code it's generated is based on one package that is flutter underscore form builder. So it's the code is not same which is generated previously. So I think I have to reload the application again to put the same command here. Write flutter code with feedback form that include four fields, name, email, phone and message. So let's see what it will generate to us. So this time it is generating the code which it generated the first time to us. It is not on based on any flutter package and all. So it's generated a code. So now, so now I will ask it to modify the code to add the email validation. Modify code to add email validation. So let's see. So here you can see it is again get stop. So for if in between it get stop, we have to put here continue. Then it will again writing the continue of that code. And here it will put here is the rest of the code it will write the rest of the code here. So here it's at the email validation here, you can see here, but we will not copy this code because we already added the null safety feature and all. So now we can also do in this way also, we will copy our code and we will go here and we will ask it to modify the code to add the email validation. And we will write here, modify the below code to add email validation and we will write here our code and we will press here enter. So let's see it will it modify our code or it will modify the code it's generated. So here again you can see it is giving the server error that is server experience and error while processing a request. So now what we will do we will just reload our application and we will again put the same message and here we are again we are getting we are experiencing high demand. So please hang tight as we work on scaling our system. So that means this chat GPT is not yet fully capable of doing a lot of requests and all. So let us reload the browser again and let's see. So now we will write here modify below code to add email validation and we'll press here enter. So again this time also it is asking us to include one package that email underscore validator. So it's using that validator package for adding that validation and all. That means it is not giving us the proper code and all like regex and all. So it's giving us the package to use in that way. So this is all my experience with this chat GPT. So as I have shown you that I first try to generate a code in the flutter code in this chat GPT and we are getting some code but that is not with the null safety, then I recommand for that to add the null safety feature that code generated is not a proper code. So I have done the manual part in that case. So this chat GPT is not yet fully compatible with that latest version of the Flutter. So we can use it in our project, but for the smaller, you can say a little bit help on any code, which we are not able to find or something like that. But we not fully depend on this for generating the whole project code and all that we have to do ourselves only because this is not yet fully workable right now, because also it is giving us a lot of error of that server and all while questing to the server. So that's all my experience. I hope you like the video. I hope you will also try this tool and let me know how your experience with, with it and you are you going to use it for the full time flutter development or not. So I will come back soon with another awesome video. Thank you for watching the video.